All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it fluid, man. Keep it moving. Yeah. Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder, and I'm back with yet another impact driver test. This forms part of our overall test where we're looking at several different impact drivers and comparing them. But what we've decided to do is to drill down into each one individually and give you details on the machine. So here we're looking at the Milwaukee M18, that's the 18 volt FQ ID impact driver. Now this is an impact driver with a difference because it's got this fluid drive. In other words, it doesn't have metal on metal. You haven't got a hammer on an anvil knocking it round. What you've got is pulses of fluid, hydraulic fluid going through a chamber and pushing the drive round. You get a longer, more sustained, more controlled, I'd say, drive. There is a, a, a downside to this in that you get less torque. This machine produces 50 Newton meters of torque maximum. So if you compare that to some of the metal on metal impact drivers where you're getting up to 170, even 205 in the case of the DeWalt, it's not gonna compete with those. And Milwaukee know that, they have other impact drivers, they have other impact wrenches. If what you're after is sheer grunt and torque, then this may not be for you, but the great thing about a fluid driver is it's quiet. You get a much more gentle, quieter operation. So that's enough of me talking about it. Let's take it out and see what it's capable of doing. And more importantly, perhaps, let's see how it sounds. Okay, so that's me. I've played with the Milwaukee Surge and this is another one of those fluid drives. Keeps it quiet and you do notice a difference in it. And also the other thing that you notice is the lower vibration. It just doesn't feel so hard when you're knocking those screws in. So that's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is an interesting thing, the speed control, because we've got three speeds on here. And then we've got the tech screw speed, if you like. Now, the three speeds are fine. They work perfectly well. Y you can do most jobs with the second speed. When you're using those big lag screws, then maybe you need to go up to third speed. Third speed equals more torque. And in there, although this is a fluid drive, it's still got plenty of torque. I'm very pleased with it. Quite honestly, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this uh, over and above the conventional one because they last a bit longer and I just think it's the future, basically. It's a little easier on your ears. So the thing that I did notice when we were screwing in the tech screws into the sheet metal is that it goes into that very slow mode, if you like, which is basically first gear. And then it's a bit of a tedious drive all the way down. But what you can do if you need to, and you'd only do this if it was appropriate, because the whole idea is with that slow speed that you're not gonna strip the thread out of that bolt. But what I've found is that if you release the trigger and then you fired it up again, it will go back into full speed again. So in other words, you can cheat the system slightly. You can use a tech screw, but if it's just too tedious for you, just let the trigger go, press it again, and you will be back to full speed, which is brilliant. So it's a pretty versatile machine. What I like particularly about this is the chuck because you can just press that in, that's locked. So there's no need to mess around trying to pull the collet back. When you press it in, it presses in to the lock position. When you pull it out, you then have to release it, but you can actually do it. I mean, you get used to doing these things and you can actually do it with one hand on most situations if you need to. So. Good choice of batteries with the Milwaukee. We're using the two amp hour because it makes it nice and lightweight. And this is gentle enough to use as a screwdriver in that first gear 
there's no reason why you shouldn't use this for all your precision work and save those top torque speeds for when you really need them. So there you are, Milwaukee M18 fuel, and uh, I did criticize the DeWalt for having a loose battery, and you can see that this one's not the tightest battery in the world. So fair's fair to say that, but it doesn't affect it in any way. It just means it's easy to get in and out, but you can hear it rattle about a bit. Anyway, small thing, great machine.